Kara's Dreams Kara dreamed of growing as tall and as strong as Utsa. Utsa had been standing tall for more than 200 years, but Kara had many fears. She feared wind could smash her, water could drench her, earth could swallow her, and night, cold and dark, could freeze her. Some days, Kara woke up and found her friends swaying in the breeze. Other days, she heard wind crack and snap some of them to the ground. One stormy night, Kara's leaves quivered in the rain. Could I be fearless? She wondered. What if I talk to my brave friends? Will I then feel less afraid? What if I get help? I'll ask Utsa. Maybe she will help. Hello, Utsa. How have you held up high for so long? Do you have a secret magic or a superpower? Kara asked. Dear Kara, let me tell you the story about Aham and Fahin from when they were growing up, Utsa replied. Utsa continued, One night, a hurricane hit the forest. Many trees fell. Aham listened to howling wind and swung with her. Swish, swish, swish. Fahin threw sharp needles at wind. Heavy rain poured onto Aham, and she took it as if she were taking a shower. Fahin smirked at water. Earth started washing away, but Aham dug her roots deep to embrace her like her own mother. Fahin shook his roots instead. He sneered at night while Aham huddled with night. One hundred years and many storms later, Aham still stands tall with her children. What happened to Fahin? Kara asked. Wind shattered him to pieces. One wounded part lies next to you, Utsa answered. Kara wondered and wanted to know, so she asked Utsa, Have you ever felt nervous? Utsa replied, I certainly have. It was the first gusty night for my daughter, Aham, and her cousin, Vahin. I was worried for their safety. Hmm, Kara said to herself. If I just smile and believe all is well, all will be well, said Kara. That night, wind charged at Kara. Kara smiled and bowed as wind passed by. Water slammed and Kara's roots drank all they could. As earth slipped and slid, Kara dug deep and hugged mother, pulling her closer. Night cradled her and soon turned into day. Day welcomed chirps, tweets, whistles, and a symphony of songs by songbirds. One tune touched a chord in Kara, and soft wind breezed through her. Kara stretched tall and said with conviction, I will hum through storms, I will dance to tunes, I will reach my dreams. The end. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check out the links in the description box. I'll see you in the next story time.